We'll soon be in sight of Zinashari. What do you hope to see? It was more what Krasis hoped not to see, to be honest. His mind was still adult, but he remembered enough to know that the Well of Eternity was power. And power was not only what the Burning Legion sought, but also the very thing that probably allowed them to reach this realm in the first place. I do not know yet. Just keep going. Soon enough, lights filled the horizon. Countless ridiculously bright lights. Zinashari was the night elven capital, a sprawling grand metropolis the likes of which the world would never see again. But this still seemed like too many lights. And as the duo neared, they discovered why. It was not torchlight or crystals. It was raging fires. The city's ablaze. We need to descend. Corel Stras went ahead and did that, dropping hundreds of feet. And with the closer look, the two could now see that the streets were absolutely filled with dead bodies, brutally slaughtered, including elderly, infirm, and young. There's been war here. No, not war. Genocide. Corel Stras then veered towards the city center, curiously noting that the damage lessened more and more as they neared the palace. In fact, some sections seemed completely untouched by the devastation. What do you know of these sections? Districts that belong to the Highborn, the most esteemed of the Night Elves. Well, that was certainly suspicious. There's movement to the Northwest, Crisis. Coriel Stars immediately flew towards said movement. However, probably regretted that decision as soon as the two discovered what it was. An army of demons marching relentlessly through the city. We have to leave. Abandon the fight. Never. We need to get word to those that can do more. Meanwhile. Your Majesty. Captain, what is the cause of that awful racket? It would be easier to show you, my queen. So, the captain escorted the queen to a nearby balcony overlooking the city. Explain this to me, Captain. The Lord Counselor has said that to fully prepare for a world of perfection, all the imperfect must be swept away, and those below were considered lacking in the judgment of Lord Xavius. Indeed, Your Majesty. With the recommendation of the Great One's Celestial Commander, Manoroth. Well, if Manoroth says it must be so, then it must be so. Sacrifices are always required in the name of glorious pursuits. Your wisdom is boundless, my queen. The queen accepted that compliment dismissively, continuing to gaze at the carnage below. Will the Great One soon arrive? He will, my queen. Manoroth has even graced us with his name. Sargeras. Sargeras? Truly a fit name for a god. Ashara then started fondling her own boob. I trust I'll be given advanced warning when he makes his entrance. I will ensure that you are given ample warning, my queen. Now, if you'll excuse me, duty demands my attention. The captain bowed and marched off, with the queen waving a sort of negligent, didn't really give a shit hand at him, still continuing to stare at the fire and the slaughter below. Sargeras. Sargeras the god she thought, and his consort, Ashara. Meanwhile again, back at Blackrock Hold, a messenger, being carried by sentries because he could barely stand and looked very worse for wear, was dragged into the room, and now Lord Ravencrest had a few questions for him. Can you speak? I, I've come to tell you, my lord, I believe it's the end of the world. Dead silence filled the chamber. What do you mean? Has news come from Zinashari? My lord, I come from Zinashari. Impossible. By the best physical means, it would take three to five nights to get here from there. And sorcery is not available. I know what was available better than you. The messenger's angry outburst caught everyone by surprise. The fact that this bloke was completely disregarding the Moon Guard's higher rank suggested he had, in fact, seen some shit. I was sent to plead for help. Those who could funneled what little power they had to send me here. They may be dead. I may be the only one to survive. The city, lad. What of the city? Zinashar is in ruins, Lord. Overrun by monsters. Creatures of nightmare. The messenger then revealed the full story, 
How the people of the capital had been stunned by the sudden inexplicable loss of their power. How they'd flocked to the palace to seek reassurances. And how an endless multitude of demons poured out of said palace and started slaughtering everyone in sight. We ran, my lord. All of us. Even the most hardened warriors did not stand long. And the palace? The palace too is in ruins. All slaughtered there. My lord, there were sentries atop the walls. They watched the people before the gates opened. And they watched still as the monsters came out. Some murmurs filled the room at that revelation. This must be the work of the highborn. That's insane. True, they think themselves superior, but they are still night elves, just like us. So we would believe. But their arrogance knows no bounds. Let us not forget that the highborn obey the orders of the Lord Counselor Xavius. Who the bloody hell's Xavius? He who whispers in the Queen's ear. Our most trusted advisor and arrival of Lord Ravencrest. I don't doubt that he's involved, but he couldn't do this without the Queen's compliance. Even the Highborn worship her. They'll never believe that, brother. Forget that for now. Let them think it's the Counselor. Their choices will still be the same in the end. Ronin didn't exactly know or trust Illidan yet, but he had to agree with this other Night Elves' opinion on the matter. Garethal, send out messengers to every military outpost and commander. This foul situation must be contained. The Moon Guard then argued yet again. We need to regain the use of the well. Force of arms alone will not stand against those monsters. You heard the messenger. As much as I'd love assistance from your vaunted order, force of arms is all we really have at the moment, isn't it? My lord, I feel I may be of some aid. I still have some ability for casting spells. Splendid. We'll need it. Zinashari must be avenged, and the queen freed from the highborn. Uh, Mr. Ravencrest, sir. What? You need people who can cast spells. I volunteer. Fine. Mafiorian then stepped forward. You plan to offer sorcery as well? I'd welcome it, if you have it, regardless of your past crimes. I offer not sorcery, Lord Ravencrest, but magic of a different sort. I offer what has been taught to me by my Shando, Scenarius. A couple of snort laughs filled the room, but Ravencrest wasn't laughing. You truly believe you can be of some aid? Yes, but not from here. I need to go somewhere quieter. Quieter? I must go to the Temple of Elune, Lord. The Temple of the Mother Moon. I hadn't even thought of them. Their support is definitely needed in this crisis. But what do you hope to achieve there? The removal of the spell which keeps the well's power from our sorcerers, of course. 